morning everyone it's currently 5 a.m and i'm going to new york city i'm really waiting for the elevator of my building getting picked up and going to the airport okay we're here everyone say thanks clark for being the bestest friend in the whole wide world Ow. thanks okay bye we're going in i don't know what i'm doing there's so many people here and I'm so awkward, but I went through security so easy. Now I'm sitting here, look how pretty. I got my Starbucks and now I'm waiting to board for another hour. <laughs> and then free movies and TV also to purchase the I just landed. Now I'm walking through the airport to get picked up. Um, I really don't know where I'm going. I'm kind of just following the crowd. Okay, hi. I'm at my cousin's house now. She just went to dance practice and I'm literally just alone in her room and I'm gonna take a nap right now because I'm so tired. But this is probably gonna be my last update of the night because we're just hanging out here and then tomorrow I'm going into the city. I'll see you tomorrow. This is a day of traveling and I'm just fucking exhausted and hungry. Good morning, everyone. I'm here with Destiny. Hi. <laughs> and we're currently at the bus station. <laughs> Wait, we went to Duncan because when in New Jersey you go to Duncan? Because we're going to New York City, I have all my stuff. So we don't know what we're doing. We have no idea what we're doing, but we're gonna figure it out. So we're bringing you with me. Okay, update, we got our ticket, but we have no idea what bus yeah. to get on. We're looking. <laughs> There's a wall of them. If we get on the wrong bus and we end up in a different oh, state. Oh, my mom's calling me. Oh, amazing. <laughs> okay, success. We got on the right bus, I think. I think. I think. <laughs> and I got all my shit in successfully. Oh, the train is coming. We, we made it. We're getting on the subway. We got off the bus, but now it's here. <laughs> it's my brother. Is this your day? Now this is not your debut, but we just went into his apartment. Great area, though. Wait, doing a little outfit check. Lawyer outfit. What can you say? <laughs> <laughs> and now we're walking him to work. I do enjoy a good Chipotle. We were literally starving. We couldn't even do anything. So the first thing we did was go to Chipotle. I got a burrito. She got a burrito. Bowl. Now we're sitting in Union Square Park. Wait, this is our view. Why is it not focusing? Oh, there. I think it's time to take the colonial ponytail out because I got pictures. So there's a lot of people here, so it's awkward. <laughs> this is Union Square Park. How amazing. Now we're walking towards the Strand Bookstore. Oh, look at what they drew all over the floor. There's like these bad luck spots literally everywhere. You can't walk anywhere. And my brother was like, no, you can't step in it. So we were avoiding all of them. Let's go this way. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. We're in the Strand bookstore, but it's literally silent. So I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Um. We just left the Strand Bookstore. I literally went in there, didn't buy anything, just took pictures. <laughs> I'm a poser. What a vibe. Guys, this is like the what, one, two, three, four, five, six story Barnes and Noble. Walking past NYU's building. We are walking towards Washington Square Park. We were just at Union Square Park. But I'm gonna do a quick outfit change. We're in Washington Square Park. Look at the view. Wait, I'm, let me get out of the way. Look at that. Just had a quick outfit change back into my outfit it from yesterday. <laughs> Pretend that that is not what I'm wearing. You didn't see that, but I have to take a picture in this, so that's why I changed. We also walked like 20 minutes around to look for a bathroom when there was one literally 15 feet from where we originally started, so. Getting our steps. <laughs> really getting our steps in. Sorry about the singing. I'm officially alone though. My cousin just left, dropped her off at the bus, and I'm taking this opportunity to go to the seven story Barnes and Noble. I'm walking there right now. I'm gonna bring you with me though. I've already been here, so I don't know why I'm so excited, but I'm still so excited. Okay, I'm inside. This is just the first floor. It's really huge. I have anxiety about vlogging alone, so I don't know how much I'm gonna film. This is just the young adult section. Like, this is all YA, this whole entire wall. That's insane. I think I'm gonna get this hardback of Weathering Heights because it's just so pretty and it will match my Pride and Prejudice one I just got. Okay, I just bought my books and I'm sitting in the cafe. I took my mask off because it's socially distanced and we had to show proof of vaccination, so I don't have a mask in my section. And I wanted to just be able to talk to you normal. 
first thing I bought, the Wuthering Heights I showed you. It's so pretty. Look, it even has a quote on the back. I'm gonna annotate this one and I can't wait. I read Wuthering Heights in high school and I needed to get a pretty one. And then <laughs> I got Why Men Love Bitches because I need this for my relational communication class. We had to read a dating advice book and I saw this one on TikTok and my friend Clara told me like a year ago to read this and she said it was super good. So I was like, okay, I'll read a good book for my school project. So I'm gonna start reading this right now. The absolute contradiction between these two books is so funny to me, but I'm just gonna sit here and drink my caramel macchiato. I think I'm gonna read Why Men Love Bitches first. And then I'm just gonna sit here for a while. I'm waiting for my brother to get off of work. But I posted my Instagram story too that I was here. So I wanna see if any of you guys come. Guys, I literally just got so caught up reading and now it's a dark out and I have to walk all the way back to my brother's. Is he still working? Cause he, that man literally works so much. So yeah. Pray for me, walking home in New York alone in the dark. Okay, just kidding. My brother just told me he's leaving the office to walk with me, so I'm meeting him at his office. Um, why won't my camera focus? I swear my camera's broken, it literally won't focus. It's giving me anger issues. So I'm gonna go. No need to be concerned for my safety if you were two seconds ago when I said I was walking home alone in the dark. I don't know why my camera won't focus. I'm literally about to throw it at the ground. Okay, gotta go. Um, update, I'm at my brother's apartment. I've been here for like hours, um, but he had to continue working. He just walked me home and then had to continue working and I've been literally starving, but we just got pizza and I'm about to feast. I'm literally so hungry. So yeah, that's my update. I've never been this hungry in my entire life. I would literally eat anything in the entire world right now. Good morning, everyone. Sorry about the music. I just got off the subway. I'm at Madison Square Garden. I'm meeting Adri, who I'm going to the concert with. We're going to the merch shop. Anyway, this morning, I don't know what happened, but I cut my finger and now it's bleeding. Sorry, if you don't like blood, sorry to shove that. Um, so I need to wash my hand. Also, here's the Empire State Building. Wow. But yeah, I'm walking all alone in the wind and the cold. I want to do an OOTD, I'm wearing a whole leather suit. Okay, me and Adrian, she's right here. We're in Duncan right now. I got a plain bagel with butter. Thank you. Adri's back making her appearance and we're about to go into the merch shop. And I've never seen so many Harry's in one place. Wait, look at the card again. Okay, I'm gonna low key film this. I'm so excited to like see what the merch is, if it's different, if there's Harry Ween stuff. You know, I'm copying it so fast. Okay, we're at the merch shop. Adri's going through security, but it looks like everything's the same. I don't know what I'm gonna get. I think I'm gonna get the bunny shirt. I know, should I get a tote bag too? Okay, we're getting so, oh my God, the line is so long. We're currently having a crisis because we don't know what to get. There's so many options and everything's so cute, but so expensive. We're literally, we're like, should I get the tote bag? Should I get the shirt? Should I get the hat, the crew neck? Should I get all of it? I don't know. We'll see, I'll do a haul after. <laughs> Guys, we literally both got the wrong size shirt and then we ended up trading and now they're the right size. We came to a happened? random bathroom and put them on. We're literally in the middle of Penn Station, mm -hmm. but look at us with oh, our merch. Carries. She also got the bag. Matching. I was supposed to get the poster or the hat and then I and the guy was stressing me out so I didn't get either. They're so like they were like, they're like, go, go. And I was like, I was paying. And the lady's like, next. <laughs> I know. Okay, but now we're going to go take pictures probably. Walk Hopefully not free step. Yeah. I'm about to go in this Forever 21 and buy a bra right now because I don't have one on. <laughs> Just us on our first date. <laughs> doing a photo booth. Where's Hold the up, where's Come on. <laughs> it's not going to do it on purpose. The world. Oh. <laughs> yes. Eating my bagel like a literal psychopath. You look like you're running late to work. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Waiting for the train vibes. We're gonna go to Union Square again where I was yesterday. So no new content here. You didn't know we should go to Coney Island. It True, we wanna go to Coney Island. <laughs> That's far. We're gonna go to the bookstore again. Maybe I'll buy something this time. Okay, we're back in Union Square. There's the Barnes and Noble that I was at for hours <laughs> yesterday. But there's a farmer's market going on. Farmer's market. Look how cute. And the strand is that way, so perfect. <laughs> Look how cute. Oh, is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? What was the word? I'm getting stared at. We are at the strand. We're in the romance section. He's reading. I'm, I'm reading the blurb. But this is the romance section. It's literally small compared to the rest of the store. So we're going through what we've read and not read. Most of them are like the ones that like old grandmas read, though. <laughs> like where they have like a shirtless Metal man. Covers. Like I'm that. This is the book I almost read. But didn't pick it up yet. I have it though. What else is here? We literally just said what else at the same time. <laughs> we keep doing it. So guys, we're completing each other's senses. Look how many 50 shades of grays there are. It has its whole own section. Bring it down here. <gasps> what? After. <laughs> this is the first book. Her neck is going to break her looking. How could you even get up there? Look how tall. You need a ladder. It really 
goes all the way up there. <laughs> All the way around. I would be so mad if they put my book like all the way up there. Short erotic novels. Ooh. Wait, is this the erotica section? Oh, it is. Why is after an erotica? What the hell? Guys, we were just going through all the vinyls and then we're like, oh my god, Taylor Swift. And then, oh my god. We just had lunch separately. Yep. Um, because right across the street, I, had, I had a, a lunch plan. Yeah. Um, but now we're we're going. Where are we going? Downtown. Shut we are in the Oculus. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Oh, you want coffee? There's Harry's everywhere in the city. I just saw a girl that said trick or treat people with kindness on her mask. Where's the bathroom? We just got Starbucks, and now we're going to the mysterious bookshop. <laughs> We don't know what that, oh my god, there's kids in costumes, so cute. We're going to the Mysterious Bookshop. We have no idea what that means, but we're gonna go scope it out. That's not part of the Mysterious Bookshop. This, this is the Mysterious Bookshop. Whoa. Guys, look how many books are in this place. This is literally Kevin, the whole place. That's so cool. No, literally, I want my house to look like this one day. Okay, we just left the mysterious bookstore. Look where we're going. Oh, I already have this one and that one. So do I buy this one too? Yes. The <laughs> They're all the same. Watch so I'm all alone now. I just came back to my brother's apartment because it started raining outside. Um, Adrian went home. I'm just back in my brother's apartment. He's still at work, but I'm so hungry and I didn't want to walk in the rain. So I ordered Chipotle. I'm having Chipotle two days in a row. I don't care, but it's on its way. I got a burrito and I'm so excited. I've just been laying in bed on my phone right now. I'm really tired and my feet hurt. A little while later now and I showered and my brother and all his roommates and friends went to a Halloween party. And you know what my ass is doing? Homework. Sometimes I just be forgetting that I'm a whole student and I actually have work to do and it's school week and I just missed it And I have work to do. I've literally been procrastinating this for two hours Like I started doing this at 9 now it's 10 49 almost two hours of me not doing this So I do this tonight so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow because tomorrow's Harry day Tomorrow is my Harry Styles concert and I'm making a whole separate vlog for that. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog of me wandering out of New York City for two days. It's probably really random. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. You guys are all the best ever. If you want to follow me on my other social media, they are all linked down below as always. But for now, I'm signing off, doing my homework, and going to bed so I can wake up and it will be hairy day. Good night, everyone.